remember back when the fur coat was new, how happy I was, and how happy it was. paper out. I don't like that. It's for Christmas. Santa Claus will be very mad if he finds out. Fur coat? You let go of the every paper. I can't do anything with him. I'm going to have to call the disciplinary society. Or I'm going to have to send him to another school. One that's so private that no one ever heard of it. Fur coat? No! You give me those! the fur coat to the mailbox and so I'm put the letter in the card for Santa and put up the little red flag so I waited and after the fur coat was gone it was a good quarter hour it began to snow and then I sneaked forth using a branch from the pine tree to cover my tracks behind me I sneaked up to the mailbox reached in my hand and grabbed it. Aha! <laughs> I got this letter. Now I'll see what the fur coat is saying about me to Santa Claus. I'll know. Yeah. I did even cry a little when the preacher said, introducing Mr. and Mrs. Obsidious Fork and Spoon! Oh, 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 oh my poor, my baby sister, my sister, oh. I was touched. I was touched, so I'm not as hard hearted as that. All right, the fur coat doesn't want me crying and getting tears all over it. I understand. It's only logical. how much support there is between the siblings. Why, the, the fur jacket even is helping to direct the music for the blankets dance. It's so sweet to see them come together. Well, Knockworth dating service. Felonious Knockworth president. Where Mama gets these characters, I'll never know. Nothing would please me more than to get the law involved and straighten out this problem with that famous fur coat. <laughs> twenty twenty, we are. So there. Good day, Miss Cuts. So, that be enough. Good day. I'm ready for the news. What is the news, Doctor? Will the fur coat live? It will. Oh, glory be. The fur coat's gonna live. The fur coat's gonna live. What happened, Doctor? A ruptured seam, just like I thought. The fur coat? It has to get stitches? Stitches in its beautiful fur? The fur coat has to get stitches. Stitches. Ugh. Oh, it's lying there with its sleeves folded over its chest.
Oh, dear coat. I promise I'll be good. I'll take good care of you. So Go. wonderful. Going I don't home. think I don't think the stole, the pants, or the cape now, can compare with the fur coat's act. They have handed me the winner. Oh, here it is. It is Here it is. The fur coat. <laughs> Such a wonderful family moment. Something has come between us. This. This is the award. The fur coat got it for fur of the year. Until then, I just kind of need to hold on to this for security. I don't think I can face the world without this little award. There's something an award does to you. Something it does to you. The, the jacket got a good report from the dentist. The dentist wasn't too thrilled about clean, having to examine the zippers and, flo and all the floss them and all those. But, but I told him, I pounded my fist on the counter and I said, I pay my taxes. I, just like anybody else, and my fur family needs their health taken care of properly. And <laughs> the blanket and the fur coat are very happy. They have no teeth. They just have, well, the fur coat has the snaps, but you know what happened to the that? The snap disaster, oh, terrible with the stitches, oh. Well, the blanket's happy it has no teeth or snaps. <laughs> now, now. Don't you dare try to get in my house. I'll be waiting for you with a baseball bat. Don't you dare. Goodbye. It's Thelonious. He's outside. The dating service. He, he's desperate for a date. Every girl at the dating service turned him down. Now he's outside my house, threatening to get in. He doesn't care about the burglar alarms. He's not afraid of them. He's going to break into our house. Oh, I must get the furs. We've got to hide. This is terrible. We must, the dating service. We're under attack. We're under attack. Oh. Officer McMurphy just had a tree branch just fell over him. Oh, it's mostly leaves. Fur coat. Is this another? Oh. Must have been one booby trap you forgot about. But Felonius is scared now. He's running down the road. Yay! No more Felonius. No more Felonius. Oh, and this Officer McMurphy is going to arrest the fur coat. Oh, what are we going to do? Now, he's probably come here to arrest you for I don't know what you did. And now you hit him with one of your booby traps. How dare you saw through that tree branch. So when he opened up the gate, the tree branch came down. Fur coat, you're going to, you're going to end up in prison. I do not think they would give laser surgery to a fur. No, it would hurt your fur. Laser surgery is not open to furs, just people. So you're going to have to deal with the glasses whether you like it or not. You look very cute with your glasses. I'll let you try mine on. Oh, what a day, my life. Oh, the fur coat, the fur coat got out on bail. It did. Well, it just turns out the fur coat was arrested for assaulting the eye doctor's house. You heard me. Apparently when the blanket broke the window, the fur coat was with it and set several burglar traps along the outside of the eye doctor's home. The fur jacket, first it got mistaken for just an ordinary coat and got put on a coat rack. I mean, it was too polite to protest. You know, they, they just saw a fur jacket and and somebody just decided to do a good deed and hang it up in the closet. And I said, the fur jacket, it was too polite to wiggle and fight and argue. So it just got hung up in the closet. Of course, a fur jacket can write a novel, a bestseller. 
my fur jacket. But people are so narrow-minded. They made the poor, and now the poor fur jacket is again in tears. Oh, I'll never get my vacation to the North Pole. I have to keep canceling the trips. The airlines is not going to like it. And there's only one more vacation spot left. And we're not going to miss it. I know the fur jacket is in tears right now, but we are leaving tomorrow for the North Pole. And we're leaving all this ghastly summer heat in the rear. Oh, her visit's long overdue. She was supposed to visit us about Easter time, but then, you know, things kept coming up and life has been insane. So we must go catch our plane and off to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Here we come.